I should introduce myself, right? I'm Teruko Tawaki, and I have the talent of ultimate lucky student. In any case, it seems that I've gotten into quite the troubling situation. I wonder just how far this killing game show will go. Zanza Matthews, Ultimate Rebel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Do you think this killing game is just some sort of joke? As if I'd let this senseless murder happen! Trust in your classmates, Teriko, and trust in me. We'll make it out of here alive, I promise. I'm so glad we can all meet like this. Let's become good friends! What? Please don't say something like that! You are really planning to commit a murder, right? <laughs> Cheer up, okay? You'll get more done if you're in a good mood. So, put a big smile on your face just like this. Don't you feel better already? Unfortunately, I don't have access to any instrument right now. But if you want to hear my music, I could always sing for you. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That isn't food! If you eat that, you're going to be sick. Take it out of your mouth right now! Will you shut up and quit whining about how you miss home? We're all in the same situation, so stop making it all about yourself. W what? No, I wasn't waiting outside of your room for you or anything. That's stupid. You're stupid. But, hey, since we're both here, wanna eat with me? Or something? Oh, please don't think I'm weird. I know, I tend to ramble, and I talk too much about the books and movies that I like, and I say odd things, and I scare people, and... Oh, I'm doing it again! Oh, I wouldn't be so optimistic. Even if you're lucky enough to survive this killing game, I'm sure that your experience here will still damage you permanently. You'll spend the rest of your life consumed by the carnage you witnessed and all the lives you failed to save. Oh my, what's with that look on your face? Am I wrong? I know that it's frustrating and difficult to be trapped in a situation this bizarre, but we are all in this together. Much like every other ordeal that we must face, this too will come to pass. I promise. We will find a way out of here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not as cool as you think. Off the stage, I'm just as much as a normal person as you are. Do you know why I wear a mask? It's because I can't stand the thought of ugly people like you breathing your putrid air in my face. Of course, I know that such a simpleton like you will never be able to appreciate what true beauty means. Recently, I was blessed enough to be able to operate on the face of a lovely actress by the name of... Oh wait, I forgot that the story is going to be lost on you scum. Get lost. In a situation as dangerous as this killing game, we must stay vigilant. As always, I will do my best to keep my classmates out of harm's way, even if it means injuring myself. Apologies, but I do not think I can be much help when it comes to your interpersonal conflicts. Although, I heard that gift giving is a good way to mend relationships. If she's still upset with you, perhaps you can give her a water bottle? I'm sure women like water. What's your deal? You wanna fight? Is that it? Huh? I just thought of something. What if there are bed bugs in my room? Those little shits can eat you to the bone in under two minutes! Holy shit! I'm totally gonna die in my sleep! Ah! What? I'm mixing up bed bugs and piranhas? Psh, whatever! Same thing! Leave me alone, alright? I have neither the time nor patience to put up with you. If you're going to waste someone's time, at the very least, go bother someone else. Judging by its appearance, this is probably a specimen of Drosophila melanogaster, the common fruit fly. Although most people regard this fly as a pest, it's the model organism for biological research. Humans have made countless breakthroughs in the fields of genetics and developmental biology through studying the fruit fly. Why are you looking at me like that? You said that there was a fly in your food. I'm just identifying it for you. Have you ever noticed how Ace never seems to get anything done? It's because he's always horsing around! <laughs> Aw, don't give me that look. You just don't appreciate me enough. What was that? 
Sorry, I was ignoring you on principle because I know that nothing worthwhile will come out of your mouth. Is someone like you even capable of intelligent thought? Sh shut up! Do you think that I'd let myself be affected by your childish taunts? Just... just leave me alone. Hey! Come talk to me! I just want to tell you a few things. You're ugly, you're stupid, you smell like dog shit. And to top it all off, your personality is so unlikable that I'm convinced that you have to bribe everyone else to pretend to like you. <sighs> I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I... I didn't mean any of that. Just kidding. I totally meant every word. You can learn a lot about a person if you know what pets they own. All animals work best with a specific lifestyle and personality type. Uh, huh? What kind of pets do I have? I just have a cat, uh, officially. I take care of the 23 strays living in my neighborhood, too. Everyone thinks I'm useless because I don't have any human friends. And they're probably right. <laughs> in case it wasn't obvious. I really like sleeping. I sleep for 12 hours a night, and 5 more hours in the day. Your computer password is 2FH capital S 7J0, right? It doesn't matter that you're a fast typer. As long as I can see you typing, then I'll remember what you wrote. Forever. As your TV show host, I'm here to bring you a message from the show's director. Murder is A-OK, -okay, kids! Oh no! The elevator's broken! Uh, are you guys okay with jumping down the elevator shaft? I promise I'll put a mattress at the bottom. You can laugh, cry, and scream all you want. But when you're done, this killing game will still go on. I'll run this TV show until the day you die. <laughs> <laughs> 